Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. So today's gonna be a day in the life of eating. So it's gonna be kind of a food vlog. It's gonna be a training vlog. It's gonna be a kind of basic day in the life vlog, which I'm really excited about to show you guys around. Uh, pretty mellow in the morning, and then I've got coaching this afternoon and then training right after that. So I'll show you guys the build up to that, what I'm eating, what I'm doing for prehab, and then post training, what's going on after that with work and editing and all that stuff. So it's gonna be pretty fun today and uh, get lots of work done in the morning for sure and hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. First things first, as always, a foam roll in the morning is one of my favorite things to do because it helps to break up all the stuff that's built up overnight. Obviously, your body's flushing itself out, but I always feel kind of stiff in the morning, even if I sleep eight hours like I did last night straight through, and I actually slept really well last night, so even if that's the case, I'll do this help to make my body feel kind of loose before I have to sit in a chair and edit for a little while. Um, and that just helps with my entire day. It makes me more mobile, which is a good thing. Ugh. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna actually listen to a morning I use. This is not sponsored at all, but I like listening to listening to books, um, and I partially because I don't have a ton of time to read, so I do listen to most of the books that I wanna quote unquote read on Audible, and right now I'm reading a book called Good to Great, and it is by Jim Collins, and it's fantastic. He's a Stanford professor and does an analysis on what makes good leadership, on what makes companies go good to great, and how you can apply that to basically anything in life. So really super stoked about it. I've got about, eh, I'm probably a third of the way through the book. Yeah, I've got like five hours of listening left, so it won't be that long of a foam roll, but we'll see how it goes. All right guys, let's get into it. Just basic foam roll, here we go. So I want to know what is it that you do in the morning to make you feel awake, make you feel alive, make you feel ready for the day. So awake, alive, ready for the day. Those three things, I want to know what you do. Is it an exercise run? Is it rolling out? Is it listening to music, a podcast? Is it something else that I haven't thought of? What is it? down in the comments or DM me on Instagram and hopefully in the next video, what I'll do is I'll put some good stuff together and make a video about good morning routine because I think that's super important and if I could get your guys' help, that would be even better. I think mornings are fantastic. I think they're a great opportunity to restart, especially if you have a game the day before and you're really sore or if you didn't have the game that you wanted to, it's a great switch to say, you know what, I'm gonna start the day well and I'm gonna get after it in the next day. So especially after a good rest, I'm always keen to make sure that my morning is perfect or as perfect as it can be. Obviously you can't maybe get 100%, but it's all about the attitude you have and I'm feeling great. And nothing crazy happened yesterday, but I feel like attacking every morning like that is so, so, so important. So let's hop into some breakfast. I'm gonna make some eggs and then maybe a few other things, we will see. Uh, I've got some cooking to do and editing to do and what else has to happen this morning? I'll check my calendar, but anyway, some work, some busy work, and I'll take you guys along for it. So again, comment down below, what are the things that you do in the morning to make yourself awake, alive, and ready to attack the day? Here we go. Alright 
guys. So for breakfast this morning, I've got three fried eggs and then I've got a protein sludge with some blueberries. So protein sludge is just unsweetened almond milk and some protein powder mixed together in a consistency that's not like a smoothie. It's a little bit thicker than that. And then some frozen blueberries and some eggs. So that's it, just high protein. And we're gonna get this down and because I'm very hungry this morning and make the rest of the day happen. All right, it is work time. So I'm gonna set you guys up and do a little bit of a voiceover. There we go. And I'm gonna work on the video that's going to be coming out in a couple days. Um, but by the time this video comes out that I'm filming, it will be out probably three days prior. So yeah, gonna work on this for a little bit, see if I can get it edited. And then what I'll do is I'll show you guys the workflow. So I'll show you guys what it looks like on screen after I'm done. Um, or at least as done as I want to be and then I'm going to study my center back position because God knows I need the training um, because I am going to be playing center back. Well, what is this weekend for you guys in this video this past weekend? Yeah, here we go. guys so thanks for hanging in with that so here's what a workflow looks like let me see if I can turn you guys around okay so here's what a workflow looks like this one is actually pretty simple so the only thing that I have other than a few random word kind of things that pop up is some transitions in between and then there's a little overlay of some game footage right here with some editing going on. 
So that's a pretty simple, this is a very simple video. So it takes me about, mm, with rendering time, probably two hours to get all sorted. That's also because I do a lot of pre-work. So basically what happens is when I'm looking at my list of videos that I wanna upload in the next month or two months, what I'll do is I'll pick one that I wanna do or that's relevant to right now, or perhaps I'll think of it on the fly and say, you know what, that's relevant to my life right this second, let's do it, I have a lot to talk about. And then I plan out the video, so I plan out the shots, plan out what I'm gonna say or what's called scripting. And then what I do is I plan out the edits. So I say, even before I filmed the video, I know sort of how I'm gonna edit the video. And it makes it really, really easy so that my workflow just continues really quickly. So right now you've seen basically 100% of the edits that I'll do on this video. I've got a little bit of color correction to do, and that's pretty much it. So it's a really simple process for this type of video where I'm sitting and talking to you guys for a video that like this where I'm filming all day it's gonna be a little bit different there'll be some edits and stuff but outside of that it's pretty straightforward and to be honest um, I really enjoy that piece of it but it does take just a little bit of pre-planning and once that pre-planning is all done it's super easy to go through and just say you know what just gonna stick to what I'm gonna do on the off chance that I do think of something super creative or I want to do an overlay or I want to do a cool transition, I can absolutely do that. I give myself a little bit of extra time, but because my schedule is so busy with all the other things that I have to do during the day, I want to make sure that I get those done as quickly as possible with obviously the quality because that way you guys enjoy it and building the subscriber count, which I'm super thankful for. So at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So that's a workflow and I'm going to finish the rest of this video up and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit when I sit in my boots and start doing some studying for playing center back this weekend. All right guys, time to cook a little bit. I'm going to set up the camera and gonna cook for the next probably hour. I've got some chicken to bake and some potatoes to throw in the oven and then some veggies to cook on the grill. So it's gonna be kind of a bunch of pre-cooking stuff. I'll show you guys the whole process. It's gonna be pretty simple. Just throw things in the oven and on the stove and then we'll make a set of pre-cooked meals for the next couple days. Alright guys, so a first quick lunch is leftovers from my dinner last night, which is a small bit of pad thai, just rice noodles, peanuts, some bean sprouts and chicken, and then some roasted uh, vegetables and some beef. So that's going to be kind of my first small meal. It is. 11.30 and I've got coaching and training back to back. So usually what I do is I eat three smaller meals and then have a big dinner. So this is small meal number two. And then once this is done, I'll actually probably have some chicken and then maybe some potatoes if I'm feeling it. Otherwise just some chicken breast and some fruit maybe for the meal right before I leave for training. So what up tea? During this time, while my food is cooking, it's really important that I stay focused on the task this weekend, which is playing center back. So what I'm gonna be doing is studying, studying, studying. So what I'm doing is watching videos on center back analysis, watching gameplay footage, all that stuff to make sure that I'm making mental notes. And perhaps all these videos are super redundant, but it doesn't matter because what I'm trying to do is make sure that I'm internalizing all these things that I'm watching, which is super important. So back at it.
Okay, so because uh, the camera is just gonna sit here and run while I'm watching this video, I'm actually just gonna turn the camera off and then I'll show you once the food comes out of the oven and then what I'm cooking on the stove top when I get that all sorted out. Okay, here we go. All right guys, I am pretty much done cooking, just waiting for the last bit of potatoes to come out. It, I've just been watching the Brighton Manchester United game and studying center backs. So here we go, here is the food. So we got, this is uh, beef and broccoli and potatoes all throughout these. And then I've got some sweet potato mixed in with some broccolini and chicken breast. And then these are more of the beef and broccoli and potatoes. So super simple, really cheap and really nutritious. It's great for meals that I have before and after games. That way my recovery is much quicker than it would be if I was eating some crap food. And uh, just make sure that when you guys are cooking food, make sure you do it with good oils and or good like coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil, that kind of stuff, just to make sure you're getting healthy fats as well. So that's always really important. Um, I'm gonna get, finish the game and wait for the potatoes to come out and eat the last chicken breast as my second lunch, I suppose, or third small meal. And then I'm gonna grab a nap quick and I'll touch base with you guys right before we leave for training. Hey, what's going on guys? So I just got up from a nap, took a quick shower, and am clearly ready to go to our coaching session and then to training. So it's gonna be back to back. Won't have any time to film in between there, but that's no worries. I'll catch up with you guys when I get home. So most afternoons, especially after my nap, are pretty mellow. I'm either watching soccer, doing some studying, watching film, things to get me prepared for training because we only train twice a week right now and it's, really, really important for me that I take advantage of the time that we have on the field. So when I'm out there, I want to be my absolute best. And so I make sure to ramp up my mind for that training session at seven after I do the coaching for my U11 team. So in that case, I'll see you guys after training. Catch you soon. What's going on guys? Just got back home from training. It was a great session today. We did some set pieces and some position play. I'm getting more training at center back, which I really enjoyed. And then our session with the young kids was great as well. So I'm gonna grab one of those pre-cooked meals and probably head to bed pretty soon after. It's already about 9.50, so it's pretty late maybe watch some soccer or a movie or something just to relax in my Norma Tech boots. But that's a day in the life of a training session day, basically. So lots of work in the morning, some chill time, and then got the work with the kids and my session afterwards. So that is it for the video, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. And as always, be awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one.